Hey guys, welcome back to another Can I Fix It video. Today we have uh, another PS3 Slim. I got this for $32, including shipping. This one has a different problem compared to the one I did a few videos back. And if you haven't seen that one, click up here to see it. And I'll put a link in the description below. Also, I'm using the lamp from the previous video. It's so much better than the one I had. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so it's plugged in at the moment. The red light's over there. And when I press the power button, it turns green, yellow, and then starts blinking red. Let's try that again. Green, yellow, and then starts blinking red. So that, I believe, is the yellow light of death. And that happens because the tantalum capacitors are failing in there. There's two ways this can be fixed. The first way is the short term temporary way is to heat up the tantalum capacitors and then the second way is more of a permanent fix where you replace one of the tantalum capacitors with smaller ones. Okay let's take it apart. Also, if you look here, I don't think it's ever been taken apart, which is a good sign. Okay, the hard drive is missing. These are the capacitors I'm talking about, the tantalum capacitors, there's two there and two on the other side. So first what I'm going to do is heat up this area with my hot air gun. Okay, I'm gonna plug my USB first. So you have to put this into a folder, otherwise the PS3 won't recognize it. So PS3 and then in there, there should be another folder, say an update. And all you have to do is take that in there and put the update in here. Okay, let's try it now. So I'll be following this guide to fix it. 
all you have to do is just type ps3 capacitor fix and the first link I'm gonna take off the thermal paste out first so I'll be following step by step according to this page I'll be replacing one of them on the back of the board So the green ones are positive and the red is negative. You have to line it up like that. Positive, negative, positive, negative. So the capacitors here, I'm only gonna use three because it works with three even though they tell you to use four. That's so this and this will be negative. This and this is positive. I'm gonna work on the bottom row first. Let's make sure that the negative and the positive aren't touching each other. Let's check like that. It's all good. And that's all good. And now for the final one. Remember the positives on the outside, so make sure the positive of the tantalum is on the outside as well. So that's how it looks. Let's clean off the thermal paste on this side and then put it back together.
Okay, I'm gonna plug it in. And turn it on. The light's staying green and it's working. I'm gonna connect my controller. Press the PS button. So it says press start and select buttons at the same time. So that's it guys, it's all fixed up now. I gave it a good clean as well. And once again, if you guys haven't seen my previous video of me fixing a PS3 Slim, go ahead and check it out. There'll be a link down in the description. I hope you guys liked the video. And if you did, please put a big thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one.